Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. Right now we are in Q&A session and today we will be discussing about the next topic in water influx discussion. And in this video, we will be talking about shield twist cumulative water influx. Okay, let's go to the question. This is the case that we have. The pressure history of a water dry oil reservoir is given in the table. So you can see we have time in days, right? And then reservoir pressure. The initial reservoir pressure is 3,500 PSI. And then the aquifer is under a steady state flowing condition with an estimated water influx constant of 130 barrels per day per PSI. So we need to calculate the cumulative water influx after 100, 200, 300, and 400 days using the steady state model. All right, it's quite clear. And then let's go to the strategy to solve the problem. So first things first, we list all the data and the information that we have. We know that this is a water-driven reservoir. We have aquifer. And then we know that the aquifer flows under steady state regime. It is an important information for us because by knowing that the flow regime is steady state, we know that we can use shield twist steady state model. And shield twist steady state model is quite simple. And we already given this information, the water influx constant, 130 barrel per day per PSI. So the steps for the calculation, first we need to calculate the total pressure drop so we have the table here, we have time, and then pressure, and then the pressure drop. The pressure drop here is initial reservoir pressure minus the current reservoir pressure. Okay, so we need to create this table, and then we calculate the cumulative water influx using this formula. So the cumulative water influx is the water influx constant times the integration of the pressure drop dt. And you know that the integration can be calculated using the integration method. Here, we will do trapezoidal rule. Okay, so this is the integration. It can be calculated using this rule. Okay, so if you plot in this horizontal axis, we have time, T1, T2, and T3. And then in the vertical axis, we have the pressure drop. Initial pressure minus P1, initial pressure again minus P2, and then initial pressure again minus P3. And the thing inside the integral is actually the area under the curve. The first area, of course, is the triangle area. And after the triangle, it must be trapezoids, right? The second area and the third area, it must be trapezoids whereas the first area is a triangle. Okay, so we have this part is a formula to calculate the area of the triangle, the first triangle. And this one is the second trapezoid, this one, the number two trapezoid. We calculate the area using this term, this part. And then for the third area, we calculate using this part, all right? And then after that, after we calculate this part, we need to multiply it with the water influx constant to obtain the cumulative water influx. All right, I hope it's quite clear. So let's go to answer the question. Okay, we have the table for the data here. We know that again, it is a water driven reservoir and we have steady state flow. We have the water influx rate we have the formula, right? So it's another way to represent or to, to calculate the water influx, cumulative water influx. It is using this form of formula, right? This is sigma, meaning it's a summation of all the pressure drops times the time, right? So I've already done the calculation, but let's do the calculation again from the beginning. Okay, so we have the data and let's calculate the pressure drop. Initial reservoir pressure, we need to press F4 to lock it 
because we will use it again and again, minus the current pressure, which is 3,500. And then we just need to drag it to the bottom. All right, so we have calculated the pressure drop. And then we want to calculate the integral part, right? This one. Okay, let's skip this section because we don't need them. All right. So let's calculate here. We will use this section or this part. So the pressure drop, 50 divided by two, and then times time or delta time, which is actually 100 minus zero. All right, so far so good. And then we do the next calculation. First, we need to calculate this section, the trapezoid area. Okay, it is actually this one divided by two times 200 minus 100, the delta time. And after that, we need to plus with this one, All right? And then we just need to drag it. And then to calculate this cumulative water influx, we just need to calculate it with water influx constant, press F4 times the integral part. And then we just need to drag it to the bottom. All right, so we have completed the calculation. Let me repeat the calculation. First, we need to calculate the pressure drop, PI minus P, initial reservoir pressure, minus the current reservoir pressure. It's quite easy. And then we need to calculate the integral part using this trapezoidal rule. All right. The first area should be a triangle area, right? This one. And then the next areas, we calculate them using trapezoid areas. Okay, this one. And then lastly, we just need to multiply them with water influx constant. So again, the question requires us to calculate the cumulative water influx after 100, 200, 300, and 400 days. And here we have the cumulative water influx as required. All right, so hopefully this concludes our discussion about water influx model using shield width method. And in the next videos, I'm gonna talking about the other method to represent or to model the aquifer. All right, stay tuned and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and see you soon. Thank you.